see a firestorm. Anti-anti-homosexual. Anti One Twitter message. The Jason, are you upset with HGTV? Report. There's David and Jason Benham. Jason Benham and David Benham. Who hold to these traditional values? I don't, don't want to get into a speech. Why do your hearts go out to them? Wow. David and Jason Benham. They're about to host a show for HGTV called Flip It Forward. Then a, a group called Right Wing Watch exposed the fact that the brothers were Christians. How dare they? They opposed same-sex marriage and abortion, just like tens of millions of Americans. And suddenly the, the network abandoned the Benhams. It, look, it's not a unique story, but it's a deeply troubling one. And they join us now from Charlotte, North Carolina. Gentlemen, welcome to you. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Now, uh, I, look, I don't know if I agree with you on all of your views. It is irrelevant. It should be irrelevant. What I do believe in and agree about is you have the right to be on television. If people don't want to watch you, they don't have to watch you. Thank God we still live in a, a sort of free society. But you're absolutely convinced the reason that the proposed show did not proceed, did not go ahead, was because of your evangelical Christian views on life and sexuality. Well, that's how it shook out. Uh, HGTV never gave us their reasons. So I have to stand with HGTV and say, OK, you never gave me their reasons. But what really took place is HGTV, when they originally made us our first offer, uh, they had already scrubbed the Internet. They did a background check. They saw my brother. And I, they saw some of the comments that I had made at a prayer service in 2012. And those comments were geared toward the church, not toward any one particular segment of, of culture, except for the church. And so uh, they had spoken with us about it, and we were able to meet with them and look them directly in the eyes. And they said, you know what, you guys don't have any hate toward people. Yeah. Uh, you're genuine guys, and you're good at real estate, so you'd be good for our show. But yes. they did admit that my brother was a little uglier than me. So uh, th 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 that's one yeah, thing they yeah, did yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Now, look, apart from anything else, th this show that was proposed would not have any political or social comment. It, it, it was about real estate and helping people. You weren't going to suddenly say, by the way, marriage is between one man and one woman. And that, that was never to be part of it, surely. That's, that's exactly right. And uh, when HG originally uh, brought us on board, they, they actually asked that exact question. You, we know what you guys believe, but you don't have any hidden agendas, do you? And we said, absolutely not. We love Jesus. We, we're we're pro-family guys. But all we want to do is go on the show and show people uh, about real estate and to do uh, the, the whole flipping um, programming. And so we were excited about it. It was going to be awesome. We were going to get a chance to show our families and everything. It was going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, I have to say this, that it's very interesting. The same sort of people who say you should not be on TV are the very people who, when Bill Clinton was uh, revealed to have acted in an appalling manner in his private life. They said, but that's his private life. It, that, that's irrelevant. It's, it's how he acts as president. So I think hypocrisy is the order of the day. But let, let's talk about what you actually said and what you actually believe. Be, because I've read the comments, and again, I may not agree with all of them, but I didn't hear or read hate. I, I heard a standard evangelical Christian conservative Catholic view about the nature of marriage and sexuality and when life begins. Well, my comments were geared toward the church in a prayer service that we held in 2012 before the Democratic National Convention. We had 9,000 Christians that came, and our call was to the church in America to repent of the sins that we have in the church. And, and then I addressed the, the, the elephant in the room, which is the homosexual agenda. I never spoke about individuals, mm. but I did speak about an agenda, and that agenda is an agenda that has developed an environment in America now where it demands silence if anyone would disagree with it. And it will beat you down until you submit to it. And Jason and I, we're not going to submit to it. We're not afraid of it. And then to prove that you're wrong, you were forced off the air. By, I mean, honestly, <laughs> you, you couldn't make this up. Now, you know, these are not words I probably would have used, but your defense of marriage, this is a position that your president had until a couple of years ago. It's a position of, of tens of millions of Americans, of, uh, of the majority probably of the world's population. You don't have to agree with it. I know many, many gay people who don't agree with you at all, but have, would have either watched or not watched your show. They do not believe that your career should suffer because you disagree with them about one aspect of, of their aspirations and their ideas. This is what's been really interesting is, is our Google Analytics report showed 10 million hits in, on Google for, for Benham and all this other stuff. And we have gotten flooded uh, from homosexuals and Muslims and, I mean, all kinds of folks all around Christians that say, look, 
we're with you. We support you guys. And, and, and several folks have said, we don't agree with you, but we agree that America is a, the land of freedom and that you have the right in this nation to uh, uh, religion and speech and, and uh, all of these things. And so it's been a very interesting dynamic that Jason and I have seen. So many folks are pouring out the support. Mm. I, I'm glad that has happened because it, it irritates me the way, and it's not just the gay community, but causes. It's always the, the, the louder, more aggressive minority that take over the cause. And most people are just left bewildered by what is going on. But let me ask you this. Um, let's say, in, and I'm not sure of the exact format of the, of the proposed show, but let's say uh, uh, some people came along for some help on a house they wanted to sell and buy, and it was a gay couple. Would you have been comfortable working with that gay, gay couple? Would you have gone ahead and, and done so or said, no, we'd rather not? Of course we would. Uh, my brother and I have built a, a small real estate empire over the last 11 years, and we've never discriminated against a single human being. We tell everybody, if you can breathe, we'll help you. And that's what attracted HGTV to us. And uh, that's what we are so excited to get on the air. Mm. But I, I, I don't doubt you at all. I'm sure you've been completely genuine in this. But there have been cases throughout the, the North America, particularly the United States at this point, where, for example, a baker, he said he didn't want to bake a cake for a same-sex wedding. They didn't ask him to attend and, and be happy. They said just, you know, we'll buy this cake from you, please bake. He said no, uh, a legal case ensued. There have been other similar cases. You really would have said to a gay couple, knowing that they will be living together, sleeping together, you would have happily found them a place to live? That wouldn't have been contrary to your Christian conscience? That's exactly right. Uh, and my brother and I always say, this is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual one. And therefore, physically, we would sell a chicken sandwich to a gay couple. We'd sell them a house. We would sell them clothes in business. Uh, but God loves all people. He's not a fan of all ideas. And so and you want to interrupt use, me. Yeah, and we use our real estate uh, business as a place of ministry. And, and this is the the, the beauty of the Christian walk is that Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man opens the door, I'll come in. So, so Jesus is a gentleman. He doesn't force his dogma on someone. And so this is how we do it in our business. This is how we would do it on the show. And uh, we would have definitely been happy to do that. Have other companies come forward now, other networks, to offer you an alternative show? We've had a, a few small ones. We've never spoken to any of them. Several have, have shown offers to, uh, excuse me, several have shown uh, interest in us. We, we've told them that we're not ready to talk to anybody at this point. We'll wait until the dust settles and, uh, and, and then we'll see what we do. Mm. What, what about, I mean, you mentioned that, that the, the, the tweets and, and comments from people don't, don't agree with you, but they support your right to be different and have a different opinion. Having been through some of this in, in, a, in a different context, there must be the abuse and vitriol as well, because that can be pretty nasty stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It can be some pretty nasty stuff. And, and that's where we are in America today is we're so polarized uh, that there is no debate anymore. There is no conversation. It's just it's smear campaign on both sides. And, and so as Americans, we know that there is a common ground and, and, and we remember our first president, George Washington, and he said, of all of the dispositions and actions that lead to political prosperity, religion and morality are indisputable. And so, the, the, excuse me, indispensable. And so religion and morality, it's so important that we not just cast God out and cast morality out and then allow this agenda, this bully, to define its own morality, its own religion. And you know what that morality and religion is? is you do what I say, or you get beat down. And so it's really important that we get back to our original founding fathers. You know, it, it's been a, a delightful interview, and I say this quite clearly, you shouldn't have to defend or define or justify your views. You should be allowed, if you have the talent, which obviously you do, to have the TV show. If the numbers are down, you're off the air. If the numbers are good, you stay on the air. That should be the end of the discussion. And it really pains me that, again, whether I agree with you or not is irrelevant. It's whether we believe that people should be employed, allowed to work, have a job, have a profession, fulfill their career and ambitions, and have whatever views they want within reason. No one's calling for hate or violence or, or, or even right. discrimination. I do wish you well. I suspect we'll be hearing a lot more from you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you for, for having your us. time.